Hello everyone, your girl Tay here and I'm bringing you another Let's Talk Wild podcast episode. Today is April 27th, 2023 and this is episode 27, Armored Expansion, The Rise of the Armadillo. For this armored mammal, Latin America was just the beginning. For this episode, I'll discuss how the non-banded armadillo has its armor on, digging forward and taking over several lands across the United States. But before we get into that, make sure you guys follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. Also, hit to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, check out some videos over there once you're done listening over here. And if you're watching the podcast on YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Y'all already know what's up. Now, let's talk wild. The ancestors of the non-banded armadillo migrated from South America to North America via Central America and Mexico in the 1800s. Besides taking that long migration trip, they were also introduced to Florida by humans in the 1920s. Since then, the non-banded armadillo has expanded its territory from the South Southwest, Midwest, and Southeast, stretching from Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Georgia, Louisiana, North and South Carolina, and West Virginia. Virginia. Y'all like how I said that? Virginia. Virginia. West Virginia. (laughs) I used to spend some of my summers as a kid in West West Virginia. I have some family out there, you know. Good times, good times. Maybe I'll read you guys um, a a poem that I wrote um, dedicated dedicated to, you know, those nights I used to stay up in West Virginia. But, you know, we'll get into that. You know, let's get back into the armadillo, okay, okay. (laughs) There are 21 species of armadillos, but the non-banded is the only one that lives in the United States. They are closely related to sloths and anteaters. I didn't even really think about that, you know, until, you know, I was doing the research for this. Yeah, I could definitely see the resemblance, you know, to anteaters for sure. It's the face. It's the face. Is the face giving anteater? Is it giving sloth? Is it giving armadillo? Okay, y'all let me know. Despite having poor eyesight, they are mostly nocturnal. Shout out to the insomnia peeps out there. I am an insomniac, okay? I stay up. Like, what is sleep? What is what is sleep club, okay? Period. Up all night, you know? Shout out to the people that are vampires, <laughs> basically. <laughs> the night owls, you know, the creatures of the night. You know, (laughs) shout out to everyone that can't sleep. (laughs) Their habitats include woodlands, grasslands, and places where the soil isn't too hard, making it easy for them to dig for insects to eat. They also eat, you know, certain, you know, vegetation, plants or whatever, but their main uh, source of food is insects, honey. They Love them grubs. That's why they be all up in your lawns digging. Um, We ain't even get to that part. Not yet. Not yet. But they also possess the talent of being able to cross small streams, not by swimming, but by submerging themselves and walking at the bottom. They can also inflate their stomach and their intestines to help with buoyancy when they're swimming like... This is why they were, you know, crossing, you know, Panama, crossing the waters, doing all of this stuff, migrating, moving on up. Look at the skill. Look at the skill. And they're nocturnal. They just getting by. Do, 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 walking at the bottom. Do, 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 do. Floating, buoyancy. Child, that's a lot. That's a lot to be doing. Resilient, okay? Resilient and making their mark and spreading everywhere. (laughs) And if that wasn't enough, the females give birth to quadruplets, 
quadruplets. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am quadruplets. Yes, quadruplets. Identical babies that are either all male or all female that come from one egg that splits into four. Wow. What a way to give birth to children. What a way to continue uh, the life of your species. <laughs> like, this is why they are taking over <laughs> another way. <laughs> Just pumping out the babies, okay? Four at a time. Identical. Mm-mm-mm. With climate change and the armadillo being able to travel the way that they do and produce the way that they do, their territory will continue to expand farther north, advancing their conflict with humans. The humans are not digging, not, not digging the armadillo. Like they're cool to look at, you know, um, but we don't want them in, in our spaces, you know? They are considered a pest since they dig and burrow in the ground, which can damage lawns and crops. They are also the only mammals besides humans in the Americas that can carry leprosy, which is a bacterial infection that causes, which most of us know, the lesions on your skin, but it can also cause nerve damage, you know, also. According to the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the leprosy infection was first detected in the species in 1975, but is known to have occurred among armadillos for many decades before that time. There have been reports of humans coming in contact with armadillos and, you know, coming up with the infection years later, you know, because they're saying that this um, leprosy the bacteria, it takes a long time to to grow and, and stuff. So even if you came in contact with with an armadillo, armadillo that was infected, you know, it might not show up the next week. It might not show up that year, two years, three years. I read an article where it was saying 20 years a man showed up with, with it because he used to trap him. But, you know... So just be careful, you know, there have been reports and, you know, in the U.S. between 200 and 250 reports yearly around that, you know, sum of numbers. And according to a study published in PLOS Neglected Tropical Diseases in 2016, Brazil had around 25,000 cases. Cases were higher due to people living in close proximity to the animals and because the armadillos are used as a food source. Even though it's discouraged, do not eat these animals since they are making their way north. The north, house stock, descendants of the first men of Westeros. Shout out to the Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> catch it, catch it. <laughs> but since they are expanding their territory, some states like Georgia, they have made it legal for you to trap and humanely unalive these animals. You know, even though they have, you know, natural predators like coyotes, bobcats, cougars, foxes, and bears, humans are on the top of the list. We unalive armadillos on the highway all the time and like a lot, like a lot, lot. And that's why they have the nickname Texas speed bumps. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's horrible. Some states like North Carolina are asking the public to report any sightings of armadillos so researchers can keep track of population numbers and the continued expansion of this armored animal. I think the armadillo is such an underrated animal. I never hear anyone talking about them. They don't have a presence in pop culture. No memes. No memes. Honey, you ain't make it unless you're a meme baby. Okay? No big viral moments. Even though some viral moments can be like really bad. So, I'd rather you be a little meme, honey, than a viral you know, moment, but they don't have nothing. But to hear that they are basically taking over the Americas is crazy to me. 
it's, you know, it's literally like a silent night. I mean, they are really making the U.S. It's, you know, it's it's doing what needs to be done. They're like, we are going to continue migrating. This is what we do. Climate change is helping us. It's hot when it's supposed to be cold. And we just pressing on. They're taking over. And don't you worry, Canada, with the progression progression of climate change, okay? It would I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they make it that far one day. It's coming. Maybe not not in the next, you know, two decades or so. Maybe three, four, fifth. I don't know. But it's happening. It's happening. They started and they just going, honey. But you guys let me know how you feel about today's topic. Armored expansion, the rise of the armadillo. Leave a comment on the Let's Talk Wild Instagram page and YouTube channel. Make sure you guys follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. Love yourself, one another, your pets, and the animals. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.